Okay, let me ask you this question. Follow okay. Up. Have you been screened for dementia? <laughs> hey, I'm A.D. Dolphin, and welcome to another episode or fact or fiction. Ready, fight. I'm Antoine Jones, the voice of D-Herbs, here with A.D. A.D., would you like to tell the people something? How'd your, yeah, if they had an appeal for them. Well, I felt like I was cheated. Right, 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 of course. But unfortunately, my appeal didn't hold up, oh. and I was actually denied. Them. No! So you, no, no. That I win. lost, I lost, oh. I get it, oh. I get it. But let's get into this week. Do you know anything about dementia? Not Nothing. much. But let's get into it. Fact or fiction? There's a type of dementia that boosts your creativity to new heights. Oh! Oh, think, think, think. The viewers know my approach. Stand movies. My you can't base everything on a movie. I, if I don't know empirically, I got to go with a movie. Now, there is a movie starring Samuel L. Jackson where he is a homeless musician, right? And he seems to be touched by dementia, but his creativity is out of this world. I'm going to say, based on that, I can't but remember. How, did they say he had dementia in the movie? They didn't, but that's, that's a little spice in life because. I, <laughs> I'm pretty sure he had dementia. So you're going with, okay, this is going to be interesting. That is a fact. I can't stand this show. If I lose again to all these movie references, but it is a fact. Woo! And you are exactly right. Awesome. Tell me why, though. I don't know why. Yeah, no, read, read it, read it. We know it. you don't, know, don't why. know why. I mean, you can't, your why can't be movie. So it's actually called, Antoine, Frontotemporal dementia. Frontotemporal dementia tends to make you forget how to speak or even understand words. But at the same time, your brain that deals with art, like even certain art activities, being able to paint, mm -hmm. it makes it amazing. Wow. And they think it kind of stems from the fact that your brain is now overcompensating because you're having such a difficult time communicating. Right. It's almost like your brain's trying to find some way to express itself. Exactly. And it's only got one avenue. To do exactly. It. I mean, oh, that's that's sad. actually that's... it's wild how your brain works. It is wild. That's that's crazy. I believe in redemption. And AD, we're gonna give you a chance to redeem yourself with the correct answer right Bring now. It. Are you ready? Fact or fiction, sir. When people with dementia keep repeating actions they've already done, it's actually a form of deja vu. That's tough. Isn't, isn't it? I'm gonna say that's a fact. And I'm, I'm also gonna say for the very first time, I'm purely guessing. <laughs> All right. You know, the brain is a mysterious thing because you, sir, having access in different parts of your brain and things weren't going that well. But when you just took your hands off the wheel and just, you know what, <laughs> this could work. You are correct, AD, it is a fact. I love that part. All right. Basically what deja vu is, is it's your brain thinking that it, it is, it's recalling another memory. Then it goes, kind of probes down there, goes to look for that recall, a retrieval to get it and realizes, oh no. No, I did. This is just some fake memory that I had. But think about the cruelty behind it. Those with dementia don't have that ability to access if this memory is fake or not. Mm. So there is no cue for them to go to to say, oh, no, this is deja vu. So they assume that the deja vu was a real experience. All the time. They just always think false memories are real. You know what's so weird about deja vu? Now this might be a little weird and maybe even too much information. <laughs> I base all my relationships on deja vu. <laughs> so therefore, look, if I do not have yeah. deja vu within three months of dating that particular person, I break up, I leave. You just leave them? Leave. Okay, let me ask you this question. Follow okay. Up. Have you been screened for dementia? <laughs> you could be having moments with all these people, you know what I mean? That, hey, you know what? I probably need to check that out. My need to interest screen, man. Fact or fiction? A lack of sleep increases the risk of Alzheimer-induced dementia. A, a lack of sleep? That's lack a of fact. Sleep. That's a fact. And I, I'm the sleep champ, along with the memory champ. I'm the sleep champ. Shout out PhD Matt Walker's book, Eight Hours of Sleep. It's great. You go ahead, tell me I'm right. Go on, give it to me. You can't steal my style. Go on, give it to so me. So you're the rapper that actually takes someone's style and takes someone's oh, thing and no. use it against them. Is that who you are? Well, hopefully I'm the you rapper. You have, have your own way of Wait, doing things. Tell me this stuff first. Am I the rapper who's correct? Unfortunately, you are the rapper Ooh. who's correct. <laughs> 
decent. So Alzheimer is actually caused by certain protein buildup and that buildup actually destroys your brain's tissue. Now the way you tend to flush that out is actually through sleep. So being well rested isn't just a feeling, it's actually the flushing out of your brain. That's why you feel that way when you're like well rested? I guess, I don't know. All right, you know what else is healing? Getting my next question right will be healing for me. Fact or fiction, smoking makes your risk of dementia and Alzheimer's much worse. See, naturally, you're automatically gonna go with that. I think it's absolutely horrible. You know, my father smoked. Really? I mean, he's smoking probably currently. Oh, wow, okay, oh, okay, okay. And you know what? His memory is trash. He's got a bad memory. You know, he swear he's been uh, abducted by aliens. Wow, wait, 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 wait. He swears by this? I'ma induce that the smoking, the lack of sleep, dementia is kicking in. So I think it is a fact. AD, I'm not sure if your father was abducted by aliens or not, <laughs> but I am sure that you, sir, are correct. It is a fact. Yes. Awesome. It's 30% greater chance of getting dementia and a 40% greater chance of getting Alzheimer's if you smoke. So you got that. So you followed your gut. Doesn't it feel good? But you know what made me realize this question? That I need to get my father checked out. Okay, so Eddie, not only does smoking increase your risk of dementia, but it also worsens your blood pressure and your heart health. Oh, you know, basically what we can affirm is, it's just bad for you. No matter what's wrong with you, smoking is gonna make it worse. <laughs> so I think we're going to overtime. Overtime. So we're gonna read the question and we're gonna say one, two, three, and we're gonna announce our answer. Okay. All old people eventually get dementia. Fiction. 75% of dementia cases worldwide haven't been diagnosed. Fact. Fact. Dementia is a disease. Fact. Fiction. He got it. Yes. Wait a minute. What is Yes. It? I knew it wasn't a disease. I absolutely How knew that. How did you that. know that though? How huh? did you know that? I purely no, guessed. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Winner. Oh, it's a symptom of, damn. That makes, it's a symptom of Alzheimer's. But listen, first of all, I just like to tell everyone that was rooting for me out there, <laughs> thank you. You are on the winning team and thanks for watching Fact or Fiction. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and see you next week.